We are spending the day in Durham, England, a town that neither of us have been to before. It's not too far from Newcastle where we're staying and hanging out with our friends, Sean and Caroline. And they've taken us here to explore the town and everything it has to offer. It's a city. Is it a city? <laughs> oh, dang. The Durham Cathedral is probably the most iconic piece of Durham. I mean, we could see it coming through on the train when we came into Newcastle and stopped in Durham and it just it sits up on a hill it's majestic and it's a really interesting neat beautiful piece of Norman architecture this building dates back to 1093 it's just incredible that it's as old as it is St. Bede was an English monk from Northumbria, was a famous scholar, and that he is buried here in Durham, or at least he was, he was moved here, but he is buried here currently. It's interesting, it sounds like, although it was used before, the term AD was basically because of, of the, the things that he wrote and his use of it is how it kind of became a largely common thing fascinating the other thing I really love about this cathedral I mean I think every cathedral that we've been to in England is beautiful yeah. but this one has like if you look over here there's like so much paint and like things that it looks like have just been untouched like they haven't tried to restore it or anything yeah, I think that's really neat mm -hmm. this is one of the one of three World Heritage Sites, there's here, Canterbury and Westminster, and this is the oldest one out of the three, and the only one that's still original, because they started building at that side, and finished at that side, it took 40 years to build. It's also the first church that the Normans built with a stone roof, because it used to be wooden roofs, and up in the ceiling, the singular arch is what holds the, the roof up, and oh. the other ones are decorative. Oh, really cool. cool. Just look at these doors. It's incredible. When we got here, Sean told us that we would recognize Durham Cathedral from Harry Potter, from the, the first one, from the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone. I was like, okay, whatever, you know, like, I, I'm not that familiar with it. And then we came out here and, oh yes, I recognize <laughs> this a lot. Also, I played the Lego game a lot too. Our casual Harry Potter game <laughs> is enough to know where this place is. <laughs> Look at this, that they still have this wood and like just look at the details on that. It's incredible. One of the volunteers was telling us that um, up here uh, on the, the ceiling of this section there is the Washington coat of arms. George Washington's ancestral home is uh, not too far from here. Uh, if you notice the, the stars and the stripes, I mean not only is the American flag stars and stripes, but um, it looks similar to the Washington DC flag. Um, it's just so much interesting history just in this cathedral and we're just getting started today. There is a tower you can climb. They do allow you to climb it. Uh, I think it's something like 325 stairs. 350 or something like that. It's more than the York Minster, which we, we struggled with. So uh, I guess I'm, I'm okay that it's closed right now. <laughs> I keep calling this a ceiling. They're cloisters. stained glass in this end. Magnificent. Just wow. Fresh scones and a friendly atmosphere. Count me in. I love that all of the streets are just very walkable. Like there there are some cars that come through here, but for the most part it's just human foot traffic. I'm losing the group, I guess I have to go with reality. <laughs> the Durham Marketplace has a really good statue. Like, that guy is very regal on his horse. Hey, 
the market hall is playing the new Taylor Swift album, so it's uh, a okay with me. <laughs> they actually know what Elvira is here. Some people do. <laughs> What a neat record store. This little toy vending machine has shark teeth in it. Are they real? They are real shark teeth. How cool. The market's pretty deceiving. Uh, there's quite a bit of things in there and we only just wandered through a little portion of it. It's pretty neat. Our friends have driven us the short drive to Tynemo. We're going to probably get some kind of fish and chips since we're on the coast now. It's always a good sign when it smells wonderful outside. You ready to get your fish and chips on? Yeah. <laughs> now those look like some proper fish and chips. I got the haddock with mushy peas. Jeremy got cod with curry sauce. Are you excited to have your curry sauce again? I am excited, it's been a minute. <laughs> what do you have there? Cold bites and chips. They look really good. Oh, and a spicy tart, 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 tart. tart, tart. <laughs> tart, tart. <laughs> How's your fish and chips? Delightful. The haddock is probably some of the most like flaky, tender, fresh fish I've ever had. It's really good. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. We didn't get to spend nearly enough time in Durham and Tynemouth. We barely scratched the surface. So if you guys have any more ideas of the numerous things I'm sure we missed, then let us know in the comments. Thank you to our patrons for always following us along and supporting us. And thank you for watching and subscribe because we have a lot more UK adventures to share.